Hello! This short video will introduce you to the first step in designing an intervention system, ensuring that a universal screening system is intact. Let's step back for a moment and recall. In order to begin supporting a well-defined intervention in predictable areas of need, we need a systematic way to determine the needs in our schools and our districts. A systematic way to determine overarching needs can be described as a universal screening system. A universal screening system will assist you in using information available about individual students in order to make decisions about the overall health of core support and can assist in systematically identifying areas of need. A universal screening system should include information on student attendance, behavior data, and academic performance. We have strong national recommendations on indicators of risk for each area. We will walk through the recommendations on use of each of these areas in a comprehensive universal screening system. You may also have heard of this type of data collection and analysis referred to in the secondary setting as an early warning system. For attendance, we want to examine the number and percentage of students who have missed more than 10% of school days. That is to say, if we are examining our core support on the 30th day of school, we look for students who have missed three or more days of school. For behavior, the best indicator is office discipline referrals. Specifically, what percentage of students have made more than two visits to the office with an office discipline referral. In academics, the recommendations will vary by grade span. We will outline these more specifically later in this video. For each area, we will customize the next steps based on whether we're meeting the goal of 80% of students responding with core support alone, or when we are looking at a universal screening system, do more than 20% of students or less than 20% of students require supplemental support. Your NCS, NCMTSS team has created this flow chart to assist district and school MTSS teams to make sense of attendance, behavior, and academic data in a comprehensive universal screening system. We will visit each area and work our way down the flow chart. In step four, we will introduce a tool that will assist districts and schools to analyze this data simultaneously or work our way across these steps. Let's begin building our flowchart by focusing on the far left side, attendance. Our first step with attendance is to identify the percentage of students who have missed more than 10% of school days. If that percentage is less than 20% of the grade or school, then we can begin matching these students to supplemental interventions. We will visit specific attendance strategies in Module 2.3. If the percentage of students who have missed more than 10% of school days is greater than 20% for the grade or school, it is recommended to examine and adjust core attendance strategies before determining the percentage of students and intervention an attendance supplemental intervention system can support. In this scenario, the school will be intervening at the core level with core attendance strategies, as well as intervening with a supplemental intervention. Let's continue building our flowchart by focusing on the middle section, behavior. For behavior, we will examine office discipline referral data to identify the percentage of our students who have more than two office discipline referrals. If that percentage is less than 20% of the greater school, then we can begin matching those students to our supplemental interventions. We will visit specific behavior strategies and interventions in Module 2.3. If the percentage of students who have more than two office discipline referrals is greater than 20% per student, percent of students for the grade or school, 
it is recommended to examine the data further for location, time of day, and type in order to revisit and refine your universal practices. While adjusting the behavior support provided in CORE, the percentage of students in a supplemental intervention system can support is determined. That group of students is then matched to the supplemental interventions predetermined by the school or district. In this scenario, where more than 20% of students demonstrate needs in the area of behavior, the school will be intervening at the core level with core behavior strategies as well as intervening with supplemental interventions. The final section of our universal screening system is determining the percentage of students showing academic risk. As mentioned before, these guidelines will vary by subject and grade span. Our first step with academics is to identify the percentage of students who show academic risk. Modules 2.2 and 2.3 will provide more specific guidance on how to identify risk and build intervention systems in response to common areas of difficulty in literacy and math. Let's review the general guidance that will get us started in building an intervention system. In grades K through three, students are typically identified as at risk in academics if they have had grade retention or score below research-based thresholds on multiple measures of early literacy or math. This is where our traditional universal screening tools, such as curriculum-based measures, can be utilized. In grades four through eight, academic risk can be determined by falling below targets, on multiple measures of reading and or math, failing course classes, historical repeated failure on summative assessments, and grade retention. In grades 9 through 12, academic risk can be determined by failing core classes, poor credit earning behavior, multiple course failures, historical repeated failure on summative assessments, and grade retention. If the percentage of students demonstrating academic risk is less than 20% of the grade or school, then we can begin matching those students to supplemental interventions. The remainder of Module 2.2 will focus in on specific literacy supplemental interventions that will be appropriate in early literacy, later elementary literacy, and secondary literacy. If the percentage of students demonstrating academic risk is more than 20%, it is recommended to engage in core problem solving before determining the percentage of students a supplemental intervention system can support. Your NC MTSS team has provided an intervention resource planning tool in module 2.1 and in 2.2 that can assist teams in determining the resources needed to support supplemental and intense interventions. In this scenario, the school will be intervening at the core level with academic strategies as well as intervening with supplemental interventions. To summarize, in the last few minutes, we have reviewed the components of a universal screening system Ensuring that a universal screening system is intact is an important first step to building sustainable intervention systems.